And if you still are deciding what to make for your New Year's resolution for 2019, how about being more positive? This is something that Dr. Harry Cohen preaches about in his new book, Be the Sun, Not the Salt. The author from Ann Arbor and psychiatrist is joining us now to give us some pointers. Thank you so much for being with us. My really pleasure, Alicia. really appreciate Alicia. it. So this is your second book. Yes. And this is a culmination of your life's work you were just telling me in the break. Yes. Why did you want to write this now? To keep it simple, to keep it easy for people to understand that it's a good thing to do to be more uplifting and positive to other people and not be the salt on their roots. Just like the sun and the leaves of the plant make it come alive, salt on the roots make it die. And we do that with other people. And if you understand that, you can make your life and a lot of other people's lives a lot better. So how do we do it? It's, it's easy to say, oh, be positive, think positive thoughts, positive vibes. But how do you catch yourself when you're kind of mired in the negativity? How do you turn it around? The fact is that you even say that means that you know that you can turn it around. You have to see that you're being negative with someone else or even yourself. You can salt your own roots by saying negative things to yourself or to someone else. And if you see that, if you notice it, you can say, you know what, I was a little crusty, I was a little negative, I was a little cynical. I don't need to do that. So what is one step we can do besides just acknowledge how do we need to be more mindful? Do we need to meditate more? Meditation, mindfulness, awareness, being conscious of how you are with people is the main thing. Mm -hmm. So you just notice how you are with people. How do you make people feel? It's that simple. It's not a technique thing. There's a million ways for you to be your best self. When you're kind and thoughtful and considerate and aware, that's how you do it. Conversely, when you're negative, when anyway, when you're cynical or hostile or critical or putting people down or judgmental, you go, oh, I shouldn't have been that short or crass with people. I can do better. And it's that simple. If you are aware that you can uplift people, which you do already, you just do more of it. I love that. Yeah. And so why is this a passion for you? Oh. My whole life has been about teaching people to be their best self, helping people to bring out their best self. As a psychologist, that's all I did in private practice and organizations with leaders. You see the effect of people on other people. So if you keep it simple, you don't even need to read the book, just the title. It's like the simplest thing to understand, which is help other people be their best self. And for those who do want to read the book, yeah. what can it, you said, you don't even have to read the book, just yeah. be, be, be the sunshine, not the salt. But right. it is important to read the book because it can tell you what. Well, it, it, there are two page chapters. So for people who don't read, you can leave it by your nightstand, you can leave it in the bathroom, you can leave it on your desk. You can open up a chapter and go, oh, right you'll know that it's true because it's not uh, new information, it's information that helps you understand I can lean into that more and do a better job with the person I just spoke to. I love it. Very inspiring and we really appreciate you coming in. P where can people find the book? Uh, go to be the sun, not the salt com. And you're still in practice in Ann Arbor, right? I actually don't do private practice. I just, just do executive coaching, but I own Got the it. Black Pearl in Ann Arbor and people can come there and say hello. But the idea is a very simple one, Alicia. So. That's it. Dr. Harry Cohen, it's such a pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for coming on. Again, the book is Be the Sun, Not the Salt. You can find it in bookstores. So thank you so much, Cohen. And now we're, we're hoping for...